A huge ancient magma reservoir lies dormant beneath German soil and nobody knows exactly where it is. The region around Lake Lack in the Eiffel is a powder keg and researchers are working flat out to find out more about the state and location of the magma chamber. Researchers have now collected new data and raised some astonishing questions. Find out in this video whether you should still go hiking here in the future. Make sure you stay tuned until the end to find out everything you need to know about the future of the Eiffel. If you like it, I would be delighted if you would give it a thumbs up and leave a comment as this will bring this video to the attention of even more people. Thank you friends and welcome. I recently uploaded a video about Lake Lack in which I talked more about the volcanic area in the Eiffel and explained what would happen if the volcano were to become active again. And now there's news about the magma monster under Germany. If you find the topic as exciting as I do and this is your first time on this channel, feel free to subscribe, it's absolutely free, you won't miss any exciting videos and will help me immensely. Thank you guys. The Eiffel is the only active volcanic region in Germany. It is of course under strict observation. Let me know in the comments if you've ever been to the Eiffel. I've been there a few times for hiking and I think the region is really beautiful. But imagine you're walking along here so relaxed and suddenly the ground shakes, rises, sulfur leaks out, cracks open up in the ground. What could be the beginning of a new Bruce Willis action movie could actually happen in real life soon. Or rather, it's already happening. Researchers have discovered that the ground is already heaving, only by a few millimeters per year, which many of you may only notice with highly sensitive super sensor hiking boots or something, and the normal people among us won't even notice, but it does show that something is happening underground. In recent months, a series of low frequency earthquakes have even been measured at depths of up to 40 kilometers. Such earthquakes are seismic events in which the dominant the dominant frequencies of the seismic waves released are in the lower frequency range, typically below 1 Hz. In contrast to most earthquakes, which we can perceive because their waves have higher frequencies, low frequency earthquakes are often less clearly perceived or may not be felt by humans at all. However, they are detected by seismic instruments and especially in the Eiffel region, provide information about magmatic fluids rising from the Earth's upper mantle into the Earth's crust. Much is already known about the volcanic activity around Lake Lach, and yet there is this one big unknown that is really puzzling researchers. Why is the answer to the question of the meaning of life 42? Joking aside, I'm sure one or two people think about it every day and wonder what Douglas Adams was actually trying to achieve with it, but the researchers are asking themselves another, less philosophical, but all the more dicey question. Where is the dreaded magma chamber located and what state is it in? And could it be used for geothermal energy? It's a bit like Harry Potter. Everyone knows that the Chamber of Secrets exists, but nobody really knows what kind of monster is lurking there and what dangers the Hogwarts students are exposed to. In the Potter universe, of course, a chosen one teenager has to solve the mystery, but in the Eiffel, things are a little more professional. Researchers at the German Research Center for Geosciences in Potsdam have taken up the cause and collected data on the location and condition of the magma chamber. Thorstendam, head of the earthquake and volcano physics section, says, Volcanism in the Eiffel is young. You can't rule out the possibility of another eruption at some point. It's important to observe better because we expect that if something changes, we will be able to see it in the measurement data. As a reminder, the last time the Eiffel volcano erupted on a really large scale was 13,000 years ago. It was one of the largest eruptions in the recent geological history of Central Europe and it left the region in ruins. And now the researchers are saying that there could be another eruption, perhaps in a hundred years, but maybe not for another thousand years. The researchers assume that the magma chamber here is still active and that more and more of the glowing danger is accumulating at a depth of around 50 kilometers. And as if that wasn't enough, they also assume that there are several chambers underground. Okay, maybe we need the help of Harry and his friends after all. Dom continues, We know there's an ancient magmatic reservoir somewhere under Lake Lake, but we don't know where it's located exactly. Of course, you could shrug your shoulders, start a Harry Potter marathon and just wait and drink beer, but that would be too mundane for the scientist. They want to track down the magma chamber and find out more about the Earth's crust and the mantle structure in the region. This is exactly what they have been trying to do over the last few months and have found out all sorts of things in a study. The researchers set up more than 300 
150 seismic stations across the region and recorded earthquakes and background noise for an entire year. As a result, it was discovered that the volcanoes in the Western Eiffel could be more active than the researchers had previously assumed. As already mentioned, the deep earthquakes in the region indicate deep fluid movements. It's assumed that these fluids could be gases from a magma body. It has long been considered possible that there could be a mantle plume under the Eiffel, i.e. a rising column of hot, molten rock substance from the Earth's mantle these plums are often considered as a possible mechanism that explains the activity of hotspots, the formation of volcanoes far from plate boundaries, and other geodynamic phenomena. Mantle plums are hot upwelling flows of partially molten mantle rock that can potentially reach the Earth's crust. When a mantle plume breaks through the lithosphere, it can create a so-called hotspot volcanism region where volcanoes can then form. A well-known example of such hotspot volcanism is the Hawaiian archipelago, and this Eiffel plume could one day bring the melt in the Eiffel back to the surface. Dom explains, if we knew where the reservoir is, we could specifically investigate what state it is in today. I know the problem from home. I'm always looking for my socks to see what condition they're in and whether I can wear them a fifth time. Maybe I need some kind of olfactory sock station, but I'm already drifting off again. In any case, the measurements were completed at the beginning of September 2023, and the data is now being analyzed in detail. The results of the experiment will then be made available after the evaluation. And I will, of course, report back to you as soon as we know more. The really exciting thing about the whole story, apart from the fact that a volcano might erupt in Germany, is the question of what else could be done with this magma chamber. The researchers have thrown the keyword geothermal energy into the room. Iceland, for example, is an absolute pioneer in this field. The country generates a good quarter of its electricity and 90% of its heat from geothermal energy. Well, Iceland now has volcanoes en masse and we only have orchards and forests full of bark beetles. But you can still take the idea a step further and imagine a geothermal plant in the Eiffel. It really would be a technologically sophisticated method of generating energy that would put wind turbines and solar panels in the shade, but it is still in its infancy in Germany. I find the idea really ingenious because it involves using the natural heat and thermal potential of the magma chamber beneath the Earth's crust to generate geothermal energy. Heat directly from the Earth, just imagine, you will soon be able to heat a wild boar roast directly from the magma chamber under the Eiffel. This will open up a whole new market for the catering industry. Instead of bratwurst from the charcoal grill, there would be schnitzel from the magma chamber. But before you all get hungry, let's go back to the basic idea. In areas with volcanic activity where hydrothermal systems are present, such as in the Eiffel region, it is theoretically possible to drill holes into the Earth's crust in order to access the hot water that is heated by the molten magma below the surface. This hot water can then be used to generate steam, and this steam drives turbines to generate electrical energy. In some geological environments, it may even be possible to gain direct access to the magma. If you like, you're basically drilling into a bubbling volcano, which brings me back to Bruce Willis. That would require extremely deep drilling, which is technically very demanding and above all expensive. However, the heat from the magma chamber could then also be used directly to vaporize water and drive turbines. The development of such advanced drilling technologies and materials is crucial in order to penetrate deep enough into the Earth's crust to access the heat from the magma chamber. In addition, engineers would need to develop efficient methods to transfer and utilize the heat without damaging the wells due to the extreme temperatures and pressures. As you can see, this is quite a difficult undertaking, but it would be brilliant if geothermal energy could be used so efficiently. In any case, I'm looking forward to the data analysis by the researchers from Potsdam and whether they will really be able to better localize the magma chamber and whether the keyword geothermal energy will then be taken up again. I think we should definitely make use of the IFIL's potential. Let me know in the comments what you think. Is geothermal energy something we should pursue or is it just wishful thinking from the outset? I'll let you know about potential news immediately, but of course that's only possible if you subscribe to the channel. So everyone press the subscribe button. Thank you very much. If you haven't had enough of the topic of volcanoes yet, let's travel to Italy together because the Fligrian fields are causing more and more concern among scientists there. There has been a strong series of earthquakes here in the last few days and many are now really worried that an eruption of the supervolcano could be imminent. You can find out all about this and what impact such an eruption would have on Europe in the video below. And if you want to support my work, please visit my Astro Shop. Every purchase helps me a lot. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, friends.